Hey. Hey. Welcome to uh, the Catabar. <laughs> It's a nice, nice place, definitely. So we were about to start with drawing circles and do a little assessment. Uh, so ha are you happy with the crowd response, commercial response and everything else? Yeah, it turned out to be very good, all of it. It's like, we, didn't, we never expected anything really to go that far. Now we're getting it even further, so it's very cool. Further than Polar? Yeah, it's, it's like a growing fan base and it's all we'd ever wish. And what has changed in the textures since then, since Drawing Circles? Except musically? Musically, and uh, in terms of lineup, of course. And yeah. Yes, Ranko. So tell me about everything about it. How did you meet? And... Well, we've known each other for four years. Actually, he played in 37 Stab Wounds which is a Dutch hardcore band. He also played in Isle of Man, which is a more technical Dutch metal band. And we played before, like, loads of times. And Well, when the day came that our old days bass player, Dennis, uh, he left. And, uh, well, we thought, like, who's the new, who's the new guy? And this is the, the guy that came up. And the same day we, came, we got news that his old band quit, 37 it was like what? strange timing, but very cool. So now uh, he's here. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, can you tell us about this experience? Well, uh, it was uh, pretty, uh, pretty sensational, I guess. But uh, also because I, I mean, like he said, I've I've known the guys for a couple of years already. But uh, I was playing uh, in different bands until I was, uh, yeah. Until they asked me, so uh, it was. Uh, Atex is, of course, a big name in Holland, and uh, although I knew him already, I was always like, yeah, what would it be like to play in Texture or something? I was thinking about it, and then they asked me, and then I was like, uh, of course, blown away, and I didn't doubt for a second that I took the job, so it's been hell ever since. <laughs> Yeah. But a good hell. Hell yeah. learning new songs? Uh, yeah, the yeah new songs, I, I, mean. I uh, had to learn the old songs like in two weeks or something yeah. because we had to, uh, we had five more shows we had to play like instantly. And, uh, uh, they just pussy. Fuck you. <laughs> but, uh, but that went pretty good and, uh, and after that I had to concentrate on the new songs. New, well, they, were, they weren't really songs yet because uh, there were basic structures of the songs and basic riffs that were there, and uh, we used the, the period of the period after that to uh, uh, just finishing those structures and riffs up to the final songs, which are on the album now. And I recorded it with them, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. It took like a day to record the day session. Is that it? Uh, no, I took. I think it took two days, right? No. One day? Maybe one and a half, but okay. including sound, so it's one day. Yeah. Oh, the it's quite day. normal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I took, uh, yeah, not too long, but, but still, uh, the, the whole process of recording and, uh, and finishing up took two months, so that's pretty, uh, pretty intense. Very intense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about the album title, Silhouettes. What did you, why did you choose this name? And, and is there a message behind this title? Well, first of all, uh, we wanted to choose a name which was uh, about the, the main theme of the album. And the, the main theme, from there we wanted to make all the songs. So it was to be a name of like a general thought uh, from where we could make all the songs. So Silhouettes is about dark, light, shadow side, so uh, also uh, a shadow side in, in, of a person, like different, think, different thinking and uh, uh, like negative sides in yourself, positive sides, all that kind of stuff. So from there on uh, we made all the songs. Uh, what was the second part of the question? Uh, why did you choose this name and is there a message behind this name? Oh, the message, yeah, well, 
I was gonna have a real message like, hey, uh, you have to do this. Uh, but uh, buy this album. Yeah, buy, yeah, buy this album. <laughs> it is no, in a sense a, uh, a bit philosophical, and uh, it's a basic theme that's uh, that's a part of every song. But every song is also, and that's the main difference also between this album and Drawing Circle, is that. Uh, this album is really focused on each song, you know, just being a song on itself, by itself, and having a, a, a theme that is linked with the other themes on the album, but it's also just uh, just apart from the rest of the songs, you know, so that's the main difference between this album and the previous one. Who's in charge of writing the lyrics? Eric, mostly. Eric? Uh, Especially with this album, the old albums, we, we, there were more people writing. We talk a lot about the main subject of the song, and he writes the lyrics. And then we further evolve, let it evolve. And there was more clear voices in this album than the past? Yeah, that's, that's especially some, some songs that are really based around it. Yeah. For example, Awake. Yeah. 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 First part, only a clear voice. Yeah. And then, this hell, the, the hell is where I went on the stage. It's, it's marvelous. And uh, for you, is it a choice or a natural evolution? Yeah. Having more, of, having more clear voice. Oh, it's just, um, well, of course, it's pretty clearly noticeable that uh, Eric really found his place within the band, also within the songwriting. And of course, he's, well, he's got a good voice, you know, and why not use it and make the album more diverse and make more stuff happen in the music. So for us, it's a very natural uh, evolution. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a choice, but uh, yeah, it just happened. You know? But yeah, and, and like productionally, we really think like if you set a certain window, we're not gonna do too much clean vocals. We're not gonna do too much blast beats. You know, it, it's within a certain window, but it's like. So would you say it's more diverse than before? The music is more diverse. No. I think it's a bit more straightforward, actually. Yeah. But Maybe more complex. Maybe. At the same time. Yeah, at the same time, yeah. But it, maybe it's easily, easily listenable, but if you analyze it, it's still like, uh, you know, it's... We try. Yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> we suck. Hey, that's not at all. Uh, you have a question about the visuals of the cover. Are you in charge of it uh, again? Or? Uh, well, yeah, Eric and, uh, and I were in charge of the artwork. Eric designed the, the cover, and uh, we also spent uh, like a, yeah, a couple of months trying to visualize what we uh, uh, wanted to add to the artwork as a, as, a, as the booklet. As a, it's a, gonna be digi pack and stuff, but uh, it's also it had to uh, portray like the ideas we had with the music, so also the themes and the. Just the basic uh, thoughts you have when you hear the music also have to be depicted in the artwork. So we spent quite some time on that and uh, we worked our asses off, but it's going to be a uh, yeah, some sensational artwork, I think. So it's better than, well, at least I think it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so it's uh, again a self made album from start to finish, like uh, engineering, mixing, mastering? Yeah, yeah. everything. Uh, everything done in house. It's what we, uh, yeah. I mean, by doing that, you have like uh, you just know what you're gonna get because you don't have you don't have to tell the story to someone else who has his own vision on it. So it becomes exactly what you want it to be. You know, and it's, uh, it's also good that we have so many people who can uh, who can do the stuff we can do. You know, so we have. I'm, I'm into videos, Eric is into artwork, I'm into artwork, he is into producing, the music. Steph is just, uh, yeah, basically uh, uh, focusing on drumming, getting lessons. And so everybody has its own, uh, yeah, its own profession within the band. Pretty cool.
And of course, the writing of the album is a band effort, as uh, last time. Every yeah. Would you have taken part in the writing? Yeah. I did, and uh, it's, yeah, of course, a lot of the uh, song structures were there, but it was about really finishing them up, about, uh, yeah, just, uh, we're going to go finish up the heat. Yeah. Final. Yeah, just tweaking. finalizing the song and just making it perfect, you know, and make, make, choices, choices, maybe. make choices about things you're going to leave aside or things you're going to focus on, and uh, it was a really good time for me to answer the answer. Perfect time. Yeah.